quick question. Why are the Bills with their new stadium only putting in 60,000 seats and not going the SEC route and putting in like 100,000? So, Brad, here is uh, a great topic to talk about. So you put in 60,000. They have 63,000 season ticket holders. You also probably make a little bit more suites, a little bit better Wi-Fi. You can probably upcharge those 60,000. So whenever it's 100 some, this is supply and demand. This mm-hmm. is just classic supply and demand. 100 some thousand, if you can fill that up every single week and you get properly priced yeah. like these college institutions who have literally generations of families that come every single year. So as they're giving birth, you're actually gaining a person that is going to be sitting in your stadium for the rest of your life and their life. So I think the reason is strictly business, but also they're trying to make it a little bit nicer. Remember, SoFi yeah. has like more suites than anybody in history. Yeah, different levels. And it was like, this is going to be what the future looks like. I think that's probably why Buffalo it's did actually, what they did. actually a level of suites in SoFi that you can't use. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, do not buy the sideline suites at SoFi ever. Yeah, no. Unless you just want to look at butt cheeks all day. Or just watch the game on TV and just yeah. stick around. Yeah, because the seats aren't even that comfortable in there. No, no they're not. So it's, it's really not even cool like you're – yeah. Or a guy get ran over. Yeah, I saw a guy wow. just die. Gorgeous stadium. We're not allowed to talk about it. Beautiful stadium. Gorgeous. Doesn't have an actual roof. Rain does come inside. Yep. That was a lot of rain. A lot of rain. A ton of rain. It is a gorgeous stadium, but yes. there are certainly some massive flaws. Sideline suites, not worth so a bad. single penny. Rain inside, national championship, with no real mm-hmm. uh, way to drain it, devastating. Yeah. But other than that, fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, sure. Unbelievable. Prices. Eight, 8K cameras falling out, of their, falling out of the roof, pretty much. Yep. Mm-hmm. But they were getting wet. Yeah, they were. Yeah. He, could you imagine them when he put it together? Well, it's L.A. It never rains here. Yeah. And all of a sudden, climate's like, yes, it does. The biggest moment. Airport almost got shut down. That's how much it rained there. It's raining, Actually, raining over there. Actually, yeah. it, shut down, yeah. it did get shut down. Hey, well, what I want to talk about is what you guys are basically just talking about because what I'm about <laughs> to say you guys are going to be talking about even more in five minutes. Okay. Buffalo Bills, they have a big problem. Mm. It's getting smaller and smaller, and that is the Buffaloes outside of the new stadium. Pat, every single time I see one of these renderings of the new stadium, Buffaloes are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We started off with like 60 foot Buffaloes, and now we're down to like five foot Buffaloes, Pat. Somebody's got to hold the Buffalo Bills responsible. What is this, an Ozempic Buffalo out front? Uh, Is it it malnourished? What's going on? And Pat, listen to this shit. While I was thinking about this yesterday, who pops into my brain, A.J. Hawk, and he's like, well, you get one of those 60-foot buffaloes, that's going to have to have a 50-foot dong on it. Uh, True. That might be why yeah, they – could be. Because Thank you for are, thinking of me, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You were on a bus to a baptism while that guy's thinking of that for you. So you mm-hmm. just go ahead and just – I was in the basilica having my godson being baptized, and I was holding him as this guy was thinking of me. So thank you. It's fun. The yin and yang of life, like you said. Yin and yang, yeah, of course. And it is kind of a conflicting yin and yang right there, both of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it is a uh, – I didn't even notice that the buffaloes – where renderings were why, small. Why are they smaller? That. Why? I don't know. You ever go to P.F. Chang's? Yeah, of course. You ever see those horses outside? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those the things Jews. are so big. Jews. Yeah. They're sick. Somebody told me the dims one time on one of those horses, mm-hmm. and I was just, I'm not, I'm not true. I didn't think that was true. And then you go and you pay attention, you look for it, it's like, damn, that's a big fucking horse. Yeah, it's real. Why wouldn't you want a massive buffalo outside the Buffalo Beals Stadium? Anthony brings up a great point. Why would they mess that up? The stadium looks beautiful. The- now, 63,000 season ticket holders, 60,000 tickets. Sure. We know it's not going to be fully roofed because that ain't football in Buffalo. I respect mm-hmm. that whole thing. But why aren't the Buffaloes massive? Those around- look, I was say, I just saw it. Those look They're, massive. Those look huge. Yeah, they are big, and I don't think they're real. Is that how big the Buffaloes are going to be? Anthony. Those look too big. Anthony, get off the drugs, pal. That's, that's a- the biggest Buffalo I've seen. Three yeah, of them. That's awesome. huge. Yeah. Those that- are awesome, but they should that should be the exact scale. I think so, too. They should they need be-, be real. They Maybe should be real and have a cage or a fence. That'd be cool, too. I don't know if they're going to be that big, but like, what if they did have a coffee shop off the ass of one of these Buffaloes? Yeah. Good idea. Well, that, they should Great put problem. like a ladder. Get some mud butt over here. They should yeah. put a ladder where you can climb the top of the Buffalo. Bingo. BYOT, bring your own table, climb up the Buffalo, and then break it. So Anthony's saying the next rendering probably after this one, the Buffaloes are a little small. bit smaller. Oh, yeah. And oh. then he said the next one probably a little bit smaller. Renderings are subject to change, as you see in the bottom right corner. That was a lawyer putting that out there. Sure. Mm-hmm.